Hey, Bart Recycling Strong here. Got Dave with me, and we're going to talk just a little bit about like we have a whole series going on here. So check out the other videos we've got going if you're on this one and you haven't seen those. But the question I'm going to ask now to Dave, uh, being a power expert, is power meters. So under, just talk a little bit about what's important about a power meter and simple ways to turn your information so that you can use it and understand it a little bit for us. Okay. So power meters are super important for training. It's mm -hmm. a great way to measure your effort mm -hmm. rather than your response to effort. Right. With heart rate, yeah, we can build a great training program. There are tools for analysis. Mm -hmm. uh, it's a little bit harder to make decisions day to day because heart right. rate's so variable based right. on a variety of conditions. Um, and it is a response to your effort. And so it lags behind the effort um, with training with power, you are seeing the effort being put out. Right. And, you know, I want people to record their heart rate so that we can track it over time right. and see what's happening with similar power or with increases in power. But we don't want to use, if we have availability of a power meter, we yeah. don't want to make decisions off of heart rate necessarily. Right. We want to make day-to-day -day decisions off of power. Um, and so it, it's a super important tool. It makes your training easier mm -hmm. because you're either in the zone or right. you're not. Right. It makes uh, analysis for a coach a lot easier. And so a coach who is familiar with training people with power, they're going to be able to look at a workout file and tell you exactly what workout it is right. out of their library as soon as they see it, right. if it's done correctly. Right. Um, and so, you know, the analysis side on the coaching uh, end is a lot easier. Mm -hmm. To kind of delve into it on your own mm -hmm. is a little bit more difficult. Uh, it's not impossible. Sure. You're going to have to do a fair amount of research. Mm -hmm. um, and, and people will, you know, as they're throwing back and forth a coaching interaction, yeah. thinking about whether they should do that, they think, oh, should I spend X amount of time per week trying to analyze my own stuff? Right and learn how to do it right. and maybe make mistakes or should I invest and hire a coach and just spend my time writing? Right. And so that's always kind of the question. Uh, but no, as an individual, you can do it. There are tools out there. Uh, Training Peaks has WKO Plus, yep. uh, which is a, a very robust analytical tool, mm -hmm. but it will take some time to <laughs> understand what's going on. Yeah, for sure. And you're going to want to have the Training with a Power Meter book uh, written by Hunter Allen and Andy Coggin. Yep. And you're probably going to want to take some of their webinars. Right. So again, you've got a time investment to understand what's Absolutely. going on. Yep. Uh, but again, something you that it. you can totally do, especially yep. if, if playing around with data is of interest. Yep. It's a lot of fun once you understand how to use WKO Plus to go out and look at some of the different uh, pieces of analysis. Mm -hmm. And you can see, oh wow, at high power I pedal way too slow. Mm -hmm. And you start thinking about, well, what happens if I pedal faster under right. high power? Right. And you can start to see some of those efficiencies cool. coming about. But again, uh, you know, it's a, it's a piece of software that you have to purchase um, and, and learn how to use it to use it properly. Right. Uh, training peaks themselves, like with your personal account, mm -hmm. you have access to some of those analytical tools that are used in WKO+. Mm -hmm. And you can set up the parameters um, to help you Is with that your in the analysis. Free and the upgraded one, or do you know off the shop? I believe it's in the premium only. Okay. In the basic, I don't know that you have access to those dashboard Got tools. It. But in the premium accounts, for sure, yeah. you have access to some, like the performance management chart. You can see um, kind of your distribution charts mm -hmm. of of mean maximal power mm -hmm. and and compare it over different time frames mm -hmm. so you compare it, you can compare year to year awesome. or in the race season you can compare march with may yeah. and see kind of how your power is progressing awesome. so and and they have some good uh explanation tools out yeah. on their website on yeah. how to look at those charts how to make adjustments and and use them to help you be more efficient so if I had a choice between a set of wheels or a power meter, obviously there's a lot of wheel choices, but uh, what's more important? I mean, or I'm a gram Nazi. 
Um, I would go. I would go with a power meter first, mm -hmm. and then start saving up for that improved wheel set. Right. Because uh, with with the power meter, you're going to make your training that much more efficient. Mm -hmm. If you take the time to either educate yourself or hire a coach. Yeah. And uh, I second that. I think that uh, power meters are, they're just, you can't, you just shouldn't be cycling on a uh, performance level without something. And, uh, you know, obviously Dave looks at my files and it's great to have somebody who knows what they're doing because they can take your riding to a different level that you've never been able to do yourself. Even if you understand power, if you can get with a coach that has trained a lot of people, and what I mean by a lot of people is not just not just your Freds. I mean, high-end cyclists clear down to your Freds. If you've got a good variety there that they've been through, they can really spot things just like in a fit, just like in a lot of things. They can see things very quickly and they can feed you the workouts that really are going to make a difference for you. The hard part too, I think, when you're creating your own training plan sometimes is you want to do the rides that are fun for you. Like, I mean, that's what we all <laughs> yeah, want to do, yeah. right? I mean, I know certain rides I love to take people on because I can just crush them. They fit me really, really well, right? But those hard things, like if I have to stand for a long period of time on my bike until last year when I started mountain biking, I couldn't remember very many times I'd come out of the saddle. You know, and then all of a sudden I started mountain biking. It's like, oh my gosh, I'm out of the saddle a lot on this bike, you know? And it, it changed a lot of my thinking. And then, uh, so what I'm getting at here is, is that if you're using power, it's going to help you a ton. If you have a coach analyzing your power, which there's a lot of coaches that'll just do that. They don't have to put a training plan together for you. They'll analyze your power and give you some input. Give you ideas. Yeah. yeah, give you some ideas. You can take it a step further and have them put some, you know, some training plans together. But all of that's going to help you be better. I know it's an extra cost, but let me tell you, Michael Jordan had a coach. Just think about that. I mean, some of the best athletes in the world, well, you know what? They could create their own plans, you would think, but they don't because... I'm telling you, mentally, when you have to be held accountable, every time I get on a file, I, there's a lot of times I think, yeah, I really don't want to do the cool down right now, but I know he's <laughs> going to see if I freaking don't do the cool down. So I sit there and make sure the cool down is down. You know, and now, is Dave going to call me up and say, Bart, you didn't do the cool down? No, probably not. I mean, let's be clear. But at the same time, it motivates me to, to do that. And so we'll get into a different segment on coaching and we'll, you know, the importance of that. But power meters are a must. There's a whole bunch. Even there's even heart rate straps now that you can get that'll do it for a hundred bucks. I mean, so at least it gives you some analyze. That's not the best power meter in the world, but on long climbs, things like that, at least it'll give you some ideas of what you're doing. So I'm going to end with that. Great. Anything else you want to add? Okay. So check out the other segments that we're doing right now. If you have any questions, post them below and uh, we'll get back to you. Talk to you soon.